Hi, my name is Amir Tathayevi, an assistant professor of biomedical engineering. And in this series, we talk about physiological systems in biomedical In the last video, we talked about wind vessel model and how we can use it in order to uh, describe some of the parameters in our cardiovascular system. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I recommend that you pause this video, go watch that first video and then uh, return here and continue this video. Uh, in that video, we said that uh, the cardiovascular system can be described using different elements in an electric circuit. The governing equations that we have in an electric circuit uh, parallels those one in a fluid system, such as our cardiovascular system. For example, uh, we saw that blood flow rate, volumet volumetric flow rate, and pressure of blood parallels electric current and voltage in an electric circuit. We also saw that we can describe heart using an electric voltage source. Also, we can use resistors, capacitors, and inductors in order to describe the peripher peripheral resistance, arterial compliance, and inertance that we have in our cardiovascular system. Here, this is one of the uh, common electric circuits that is used usually to describe our cardiovascular system. In this electric circuit, you can see that there is a resistor, uh, an inductor, and a capacitor. And therefore, this compartment here is called an RLC compartment. Today we want to see how we can use different laws and equations to solve an electric circuit like this for electric current and voltage, which we know that they are uh, representatives of uh, volumetric flow rate of blood and pressure, pressure of blood or blood pressure. Kirov's current law or KCL says that the current entering any node is equal to the current leaving that node. And we know that the electric current uh, describes blood flow rate. So let's replace it by uh, blood flow in this statement. Now, what does it say? If you look at this node in the electric circuit, that we have here, this law, KCL law, uh, says that blood flow entering this node equals blood flow exiting or leaving that node. For example, if we have QA entering this node and then QB and QC uh, leaving that node, then based on KCL, QA equals QB plus QC. Then, Kirchhoff's voltage law says that the sum of all voltage around a loop is equal to zero. Again, we know that voltage is a representative of uh, blood pressure, so let's replace it by pressure. Uh, and let's interpret this. Uh, the pressure around a loop is zero. What does it say? It means that if there is any pressure loss due to some of the components, some of the elements in our circuit, then there should be a pressure gain as well to compensate for it. For example, in this loop, in this circuit that we have here, there is only one loop. In this loop, there are uh, resistors, there is a resistor and an inductor. So the pressure loss due to the resistor and the inductor should equal the pressure gain due to pump or delta P. But based on 
Ohm's law and Faraday's law and other laws that we have in uh, electrical engineering, we can find the voltage across each of these elements. For example, we know that voltage across a resistor is Ri, an inductor, it is LDI over DT. Again, let's replace all the voltages and currents in these equations by uh, pressure and flow rate. So, using these equations, now we can get back to this loop that we have here. The pressure loss due to resistor is uh, RQ, and the pressure loss due to the inductor is LDQA over DT, because the flow rate that is going through these two elements is QA. And then it equals delta P. So in addition to these two equations, we can also apply KCL to other nodes. For example, this node on top of the pump that we have here. Uh, the flow rate entering this node is QP, or the flow rate that goes through the pump, and the flow rate leaving this node is QA. Therefore, we get QP equals QA. Also, if you look at QB, the path of QB all the way to the pump, we can see that there isn't any branch here, and also there shouldn't be any flow leakage. There shouldn't be any current leakage. Therefore, QB equals QP. And looking at these two equations, we can see that QA equals QB. And then comparing it with the first equation that we had, we can conclude that QC in this specific circuit is zero. So, an important conclusion that we have here is whenever we have an RLC com compartment, a single RLC compartment in our circuit, the flow that goes through the capacitor is zero. That is always true. In other words, in this case, we are not dealing with an RLC compartment anymore. It's an RL compartment. But is it true what we saw here about a circuit with multiple RLC compartments? For example, if we have two RLC compartments, is the flow through these capacitor elements, is it still zero? The short answer is no, but we will go through it in more details in the next video. Until then, bye.